Good morning. I'm thrilled to be here. It's, it's been quite a few years, actually, since I've been to TechEd, and it's certainly the first time that I've shared the stage with Sujit and Frank, but I'm looking forward to many returns, and uh, it's going to be a great week. But first, I am uh, going to uh, keep my control products and solutions hat on for just a little bit longer and talk about some of the benefits that come to the connected enterprise and how we enable the connected enterprise with some of the value from the businesses that are within CP and S. You know, Frank and Suji both talked about smart connected assets and how that is fundamental to the connected enterprise because that's where the data comes from. And so when we talk about our smart connected assets like variable speed drives and electronic overloads, that's why we can say that we have home field advantage when we talk about the industrial internet of things. Because these are the things in the internet of things. And without that data that can be turned into useful information, you don't have something solid to start with. And I want to take an example of variable speed drives. Frank and I have spent a good part of our careers uh, in businesses uh, where variable speed drive technology is central. And they perform useful functions. We ship hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these drives every year. And they're helping provide precision control of plant floor processes. They save energy by keeping operators from having to run motors across the line full out all the time. But we can also think of those drives as bundles of sensors. And they can really demonstrate very well the concepts of self-aware and system-aware that Frank described. They're self-aware in that they have advanced thermal management of their power semiconductors. And you'll see when we launch the high performance control drives later this calendar year that we've taken that to a whole new level. And onboard analytics are going to provide an unparalleled level of diagnostics for those products. They also can predict the life of some of their components, like capacitors, and letting operators take them down in a controlled fashion rather than having an unplanned failure result in downtime. But drives do more than that. They're an important part of the system aware concept that Frank talked about as well. Automatic device configuration is a feature that Rockwell Automation has offered with drives for some time. When a drive breaks, you can replace it and immediately the parameters are downloaded and you get back and running much faster. The notification services that were mentioned before, when an event occurs, when there's an alarm in the drive, to be able to make sure that that information is put into context and shared across the system. When we launch the multi-drives for coordinated drive applications, to be able to share information across the individual control of motors and the regenerative front end, that's going to provide a level of intuition about how the system is running that could never be provided before. And again, this is where the data comes from. It's sent up into the system, and it can provide useful information to help operators make better decisions about optimizing their process. The second area that I want to talk about, and if you don't take anything else away from my comments this morning, I want you to remember this, and that is we maximize the value of the connected enterprise for customers by describing its benefits in the specific language that's important to them. The connected enterprise is broadly applicable across many, many industries and applications. But if you're a pharma customer, then you care about serialization. If you make cars, you're going to be interested in how we can help with vehicle scheduling. 
If you're in the upstream onshore oil and gas business, then you care about the downhole card that Suji talked about and how you can optimize pressure, temperature, and flow to extend the life of that well. So that's how we bring the connected enterprise to life by describing its benefits and using our internal subject matter experts who understand these applications and those of our partners, many of which are in the audience today, to describe that specific benefit. Another way that we combine innovation and expertise is through our connected services offering. Many of you are familiar with our network services where we're applying IT principles on the plant floor to help ensure that manufacturers have a secure and available backbone for which to transmit that data and information across their enterprise. We provide industrial data centers to help customers organize and protect their plant floor applications. By taking advantage, again, using home field advantage, to take advantage of the wide variety of devices that are connected on standard unmodified ethernet and to be able to understand what's changed in the process in an installation that might cover many, many square miles, then we can apply reliability science to our traditional repair services to not only repair what breaks, but keep more stuff from breaking. To all of this functionality is connectivity. And whether we talk about connectivity to be able to enable remote monitoring, whether it's connecting an enterprise supply chain with the individual manufacturing locations, whether it's connecting people across an operation and to be able to project experts who might sit thousands of miles away from the actual process. All of these things are examples of the connected enterprise in action. It's an exciting time for us. I am thrilled for the opportunity of the new role that I'll be moving into. And I think Rockwell Automation is in a unique opportunity to provide value because we are a single integrated business. So the concepts of connectivity and having a strong fit from one part of the organization to the other are the things that we're uniquely positioned to provide as the largest provider, independent provider of control and information solutions. All we do is industrial productivity. And I'm proud of the legacy that Rockwell Automation has, how we earn the title of trusted partner every day. You know, I, uh, I've been with Rockwell Automation for 31 years now. And as I think about the past, over the past decades, a lot of what we have done through those years really is preamble to the connected enterprise. It really has set the stage for what we're offering today. When I was in sales in the 90s, it was about the integrated architecture and just the concept of being able to connect digital drives to PLC-5s and then logics through remote I.O. and then, and then Ethernet. That provided benefits that uh, are still with us today. At the millennium, it was about multidiscipline control because most manufacturers today don't have strictly discrete control applications or process control applications. They have both and they probably have some batch thrown in. And so the ability to have maintenance personnel only have to learn one platform to be able to support the wet end of the line as well as the packaging side is, is very clear in terms of its benefits. More recently, we're talking about information enablement. As we take those IT principles and apply them on the plant floor with our knowledge, 
So at customers like Kraft, we can offer a service level agreement to keep their network infrastructure up and running that's measured in a few minutes rather than the several hours that those plants had to settle for in the past. We have dozens of industrial data centers deployed on their plant floor, and again, to help them organize and protect the multiple plant floor applications that they have. So it's all those things that, that make this time such an exciting one. But we can't do it alone. As a $6 billion company, Rockwell Automation spins itself up to be something much greater with the help of our partners. And our partners provide technical innovation, domain expertise, and geographic reach. You do what you do best and allows us to focus on our core strengths. And together, that ecosystem really is unbeatable. So with that, I'd like to invite Frank and Sujit on the stage as we close this portion of the week. Sujit? You know, just, just to uh, emphasize uh, for the audience, uh, maybe starting with Sujit, uh, your reflection on what's the, what's the one thing that uh, you'd like the group to take away from your comments this morning? So, Blake, I think uh, when I discussed how technology trends are accelerating the connected enterprise, uh, what I want uh, the audience to take away from that is the fact that IT and OT convergence is happening. It's happening now. And as you bring together all the silos of information that are trapped in different parts of your enterprise and marry that information together with what we have on the, in the industrial side, the productivity can be tremendous. Right. Yep. And when we talk about the building blocks, really, of the, the whole connected enterprise, Frank, you talked about the high performance architecture. Well, well I think what, what resonates with me is, is what we see happening already. Um, you know, our high performance architecture is enabling customers today to deliver the connected enterprise. And, and we're gonna hear that this week at some of the customer sessions as well, see that in some of the training sessions. And I think that's impactful. And because, you know, just like I do, when I go visit customers, everybody's in a different state of understanding around digitization. And, and it's great that we can help them produce some meaningful results and business outcomes. Yeah, and, and we know as well that all the technology that's going to be useful for them isn't available today. We know that the technology is going to continue to evolve, and it's a great platform to pick it up as it becomes available. Right, and that's why this whole concept of future-proof is important. We want folks to get value over time uh, so they can take advantage of new technologies and capabilities and all those analytics companies that Shazi talked about. Yeah, that's right. And, and again, uh, from my standpoint, uh, being able to take that, that basic functionality and to be able to bring the connected enterprise to life by making it real for whatever that customer's specific application is to describe the value and the outcomes in their language, I think, is what's, what's so powerful. Absolutely. Automation. Yeah. So with that, uh, really appreciate your time this morning. Looking forward to talking with many of you uh, in the coming days. Thank you very much. Thank you.